Let's take a look at the top five Vim plugins that you should be using. Let's take a look. At number five is our Vim package managers. Now, if you're gonna be using Vim, you definitely wanna use a package manager. They will make your life easier. It'll make it easy way for you to download your Vim plugins and put them inside your Vim application. Now, I used to use one called Neo Bundle. I'm gonna mention it here. It's no longer an active development, but it was a pretty easy to use uh, system. I was able to just add a couple lines into my VimRC file and install plugins. They actually recommend one called DN, which is another package manager. But the two that I would recommend right now is one called Vundle and one called uh, Vimplug. Vimplug and Vundle are both great package managers. They're real simple to use. And uh, I'll put all the links in the description below. I use Vimplug myself in a couple of my systems. And uh, well, of course there's Vim Pathogen, but all these work uh, really well. So you should definitely check it out. And number four is Syntastic. Syntastic is a syntax check-in plugin for Vim created by Martin Grenfell. It runs files through an external syntax checker and displays any results errors to the user. In our console, you can see that we have uh, a console log here. We can see if we put in a wrong message and then save it, we will get an error in the console that says we are missing a semicolon and also says that we're expecting a bra bracket and we're missing that as well. So you can see here, we can correct the uh, console and add the semicolon. If we save it, then it that message goes away and then we see the other message that we should be using brackets with our if and as long as we add the brackets back in and we save it then we can see all the errors are gone and that is the power of syntastic at number three is vim javascript vim javascript is a vastly improved javascript indentation and syntax support for vim you can see here that we have vim javascript installed you can see it has some syntax highlighting. If we start a new line, it auto indents for us as we expect. Uh, we can easily create, and this is our Ember app here. Just uh, for example, I can create a new action here and it's going to indent everything for us correctly, which is nice. So you can see here, this is just a basic JavaScript uh, Vim plugin. It's really easy to use and you should check it out. At number two is control P dot Vim. It's a fuzzy file finder. So you can hit control P while you're inside Vim or you can map it to any key you want. And you can, uh, you can search your, through all your files and your tree and your structure. It's very extensible. You can search through the path as you can see here in the screenshot. As you can see here, I use this plugin all the time. I press control P, I can bring up a list of files. I can type in the file I want to look for and it brings it right up. So you can see right here, I'm in the file. If I type it again, I can bring up another file. I can see, I also can exclude directories. I, you can see I have the node modules there, but if I didn't want that, I can completely exclude it out of finding it. Um, here's another example. I'm just typing in uh, the readme. I can hit up or down and it already has kind of a list of files that, that have been previously open so it's very very handy and at number one is nurtry nurtry allows you to explore your file system and to open up files and directories i use this all the time it makes it really really simple and easy to use to look at your file system to navigate it and to go everywhere you need to go here is nurtry in action on the left hand side you can see my file explorer you can see all the directories i can navigate them pretty easily if i open up any of these files. They open up on the right hand side. You can see I have two files open and I can easily switch between either one of them. And I'm opening them up horizontally. I can also use a key to make them full screen. So if I want to get rid of the left hand, the left hand file explorer, I can. Here I've opened up three files at once. You can see here I can take a look at all three. I can easily move back to the file explorer. I can look inside directories if I need to. I can go to each individual one or I can kind of scroll through all of them pretty quickly. As you can see here, uh, I can also create files. So I can 
click add a child node, I can type in a name, I can make multiple levels at one time. I just created a new folder and a .js file. I can delete folders and I can delete files if I need to. Here I can type in a to add and add an eric.js file. So it's just really simple to add things quickly in using NerdTree. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, please click that subscribe button. That helps me a lot. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment below on what your favorite Vim plugin is. Thanks and have a great day.